Hello, hello, guys. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Hi, Tatiana. Good evening. Great to see you, Diana. Good evening. How you doing, girls? Are you doing all right? Hi, teacher. Yes, I'm. I'm much better. Ah, okay. So your voice is your voice. Well, your voice is back obviously yes <laughs> okay so no but you are on medical leave aren't you no no i i didn't ask it for are you still going to work i'm working from home ah okay okay well but you got a chance that is amazing yes that's really good okay okay but but you're feeling better no fever no, no at all. Uh, rest in the weekend helps me a lot. Ah, okay. Well, that's amazing. I'm really glad to hear that you're not having uh, side effects or anything. Ah, okay. Yes, thanks. Okay, Tatiana, no worries. I read your message, but I'm really glad to, to see you there and to hear your voice as well. Um, hi, Mr. Valle. How you doing? Mario, hi. Good evening. Hi, uh, I see C Carlos. Hi, Mr. Rivas. How you doing? Hey, teacher. Fine. Are you feeling better? Are you doing all right? I'm feeling better. Okay, nice. Good to hear. Mm, although your voice sounds still kind of deep. <laughs> okay. Has your voice been affected? No. No, teacher. It's is that a, your normal voice? No, it's a voice. It's a sick voice. Yeah, right. So your voice. I mean, your voice sounds kind of deep, but not this deep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, but but I'm glad to hear that you're feeling a little better too, and uh, I hope um you don't have like other effects after COVID. So. Oh my God, I feel today is Wednesday. I have no idea why. Um, so guys, well, it's really nice to have you here. Um, thank you guys for completing the platform. Just, I have a little uh, record. Uh, Mr. Mr. Um, wait, so Mr. Rivas, quick question. Uh, do you have two email addresses? Yes, I was I was trying to check uh, the platform, but I was unable to see your progress. So I got this like question that probably you have a second email address. Uh, oh, so, I don't have a when I don't to do nothing, teacher. Yeah, I, I saw it today, but I thought that it was like that I was making a mistake because. Probably you had a second email address or something. Yeah, that's um, that's can you please okay. help us with that? <laughs> the thing is that um, they asked me today for like your progress, and I was like, wait, I haven't, uh, I haven't seen his progress. So if you can like complete it during these days, I would really appreciate it. Um, you know, so I, just to avoid, because uh, otherwise you will have a lot of work. I promise more tomorrow. Thank you. I would really appreciate it. Because uh, it's not that hard, but it is going to take a little time. And the more you delay it, the more work you'll feel it. So you will feel like it's pretty, pretty long. Yes. So, yes, please. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, Christia, good evening. Thank you for joining. Um, see Nelson, good evening too. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, hi, Norma. Great to see you. How are you doing, Miss? Wendy, good evening. Thank you for joining as well already. Okay, guys, really nice to see you. Um, so thanks for joining. Guys, solo nos quedan a couple of sessions, I would say. We are missing just like mm, uh, four more sessions to go. So please. Try not to miss, you know, and uh, to to help your attendance as well. Okay, guys. So let's take a look at this uh, part 
here we have, uh, we are going to continue talking today a little bit about motivation. And guys, I have these two pictures uh, for you. One of them is like a person uh, holding a lot of bricks and all the weight over his shoulders. And the second one is like this person putting some bricks in a sort of ladder, right? Or in a sort of staircase um, to move up a little bit. And we also have this uh, quote that says, work hard in silence, let your success be your noise. Guys, um, how do they make you feel? What do you think about these pictures? Um, what do you think about the quote? What do you think about this person, uh, about the two pictures that you also have in here? What are your thoughts about this one? Hi, Ariela, good evening. Thank you for joining. Uh, Sylvia, great to see you as well. Susana, hello. Thank you for joining too. Um, so guys, what can you tell me about, what can you tell us about these pictures? <clears throat> What do you think about the contrast, guys, between these two pictures <clears throat> and about the quote? So work hard in silence and uh, let your success be your noise. Do you agree with this quote? Mm, sometimes it can be um, different, maybe because not everybody got the lucky lucky time or lucky successful um, okay like the the one who is building a stairs mm -hmm. you said that not not everybody is lucky i i say lucky like Mm, the I don't know the fifty fifty percent that as Manuel can be um climbing the stairs of fail failure um, okay Jose, it can be I don't know it takes more time maybe. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, like not everybody has the same time or the same opportunities, something yes. like that. <clears throat> yes. Okay, okay, guys, uh, what do you think about this picture? Um, do you think, uh, what does it refer to? Do you have an idea on that? Sorry. Oh, sorry, teacher. Oh, no, uh, go ahead, please. I'm sorry, I just got allergies. <laughs> yes, please tell us. Uh, I agree with the, with the quote. Okay. Um, I think that if you want to be success, you have to work hard to get to that point. It's like the image. Uh, you can choose to... to hi. <laughs> <laughs> to keep with all your failures and mm -hmm. do nothing and just um, regret about it mm -hmm. or you can learn from that fail failures oh, okay. and start working for success like the second person in the image maybe things oh. go wrong from him but he's still working for better oh okay okay all right uh, so what about this part of work hard in silence? Do you agree with that part too? That you need to uh, like to work hard, but not let people know that you're working on something? It depends. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sometimes I think it's better to work in silence because mm -hmm. you don't know with which with kind of people you can you can be. You can and, meet. Yes, and, and there are people that they don't like you to success or they want to 
to fail. So mm -hmm. if you are working in silence, people wouldn't know and mm -hmm. they can stop you. Oh, but okay. In other cases, uh, you can need the help from other people. So if you are doing all alone and in silence, mm -hmm. maybe you can lose that opportunity. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it really depends. That's uh, actually very interesting. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for that. Guys, what are your thoughts? What are your ideas on this quote? Do you agree with Diana? Do you have a different idea? Uh, what do you think about the picture and the way how these two men have approached uh, the situation? So what do you think about it? Anybody else? Good evening, teacher, everybody. Hi, Mr. Palma, how you doing? I'm fine, very good. Great to hear that. Uh, I saw two chap chapter charter or picture mm, they are pictured yeah okay. or, or i don't know character i don't know which one <laughs> yeah, yeah but both, 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 both. Are okay okay but, uh, i like i like uh, this uh, uh, i don't know um, sentence or or statement work hard in silence okay uh, I think when, for example, when I work hard, mm -hmm. uh, it's common that people like the uh, co-workers or bosses uh, uh, recognize recognize uh, their work mm -hmm. and uh, for sure, for sure, uh, I think uh, everybody likes uh, uh, the, the others people uh, can watch uh, what you what you do. Okay. But, but hard in silence, uh, I like because uh, the achievement uh, or uh, yes, the achievement uh, like uh, uh, what everybody but work, uh, work hard in silence, mm -hmm. but when you uh, achieve mm -hmm. your like your goal yes uh, mm -hmm. for sure uh, i like everybody can watch or can see mm -hmm. so how uh, well you are doing yes uh, okay. i think i think everybody uh, likes this uh, mm -hmm. and the the second one the left uh, i saw the most difficult terms in it include. Oh, no, 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 I, that is just vocabulary. <laughs> so, yes, uh, yes, yeah, no, because, uh -huh. because the, 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 the pictures, uh, two, two person and one one of them, uh, the fail, fails uh, becoming in a, in a heavy, can you say heavy chart? Carga, a carga pesada. Uh, well, in a heavy, that would be weight. So we can call it weight. But the the mm -hmm. the one picture, uh, mm -hmm. I I I see uh, the fails are are, are like a, like a stairs stairway. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Stairway mm -hmm. to to achieve, mm -hmm. uh, okay. but in the in the other picture, the fails. Uh, I I think it's like a stressful, uh, like a, a 
I don't know. Uh, uh, the I think the the uh, the situation is like a. Uh, I don't know, teacher. It's como como una carga. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's like a like the weight, right? Or yeah, like a sort of weight. Or like a barrier, like you barrier, know, there's yes, a, like a, a really big weight on your shoulders. They become, and they become. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I think people don't. Uh, people stop uh, mm -hmm. a barrier. Mm -hmm. That is right. So I, I think it's like part of being Salvadorian or something cultural. When we have a barrier. Uh, it is not easy, you know, to stand up and you say, oh, I'm going to do it again. Normally, uh, our personality and our culture is like, oh, if you failed, uh, don't try it again. So we get afraid, right? Yes. Okay. All right, guys, uh, anything else you would like to share about this one, about the quote? Like work hard in silence, let your success be your nice, or about the pictures? Hi, Susanna, how you doing? <laughs> Hi, teacher. <laughs> How is your voice? Uh, is you it feeling the, better? Yeah, is it the picture? Um, for me, it's a, oh, my opinion is that the... No, mm -hmm. Sorry, continue, please. <laughs> the people must learn it from mm -hmm. the difficulties. Oh, and, I like it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I know how to solve them. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't learn and then okay i really like the first part you mentioned that people have to learn from the difficulties uh yes. and it is important right that you see opportunities in every failure so i yes. think also it's related to that nice i like yes. that okay i really like that expression uh guys would you like to share anything else do we have somebody else anybody Okay, I guess that is enough. So uh, based on what Susanna said, yes, guys. So if we fail, uh, you can see an opportunity even in failures. Um, and you can try to find a way, right? Uh, to see the silver lining, to see the bright side and to make it even better. So that is actually, uh, what the first picture represents. Amazing, amazing. I don't know if you have seen or you have heard the expression, a silver lining. Every cloud has a silver lining. It's like, even in the worst, even in the worst storm, even in the worst um, scenario, there is hope, right? That something is going to turn out for good. So um, if you ever, or if you haven't heard it, that is that expression. Uh, and that is the, the picture. So nice. Thank you. Hi, Olga. Good evening. Great to see you. Hi, Claudia. Good evening. Guadalupe, thank you for joining. I'm glad to see you. Hi, Miss Ron. Thank you for joining too. Um, guys, here we have a couple of uh, vocabulary. And it says here the most ter difficult terms include because yesterday we were practicing some vocabulary. And it is necessary to practice it more than that. Um, then just one time, right? So we can memorize it. We checked, for example, the word accomplish. We checked the word achieve or achievement. We have inspire. We have affect, extreme, face, or face with. Um, what is the meaning of face, guys? Not part of your body, but what would be face? What is the meaning of this action, face? Can fa uh, fire? Mm, mm, ah, oh. Okay, that would be fail. It has uh -huh. a fail and face. But what is face? Um, fail is fire. Uh, okay. To confront someone. Uh, exactly, exactly. Like when you have a problem, you go and face the person. Or when you have a problem, oh, yeah. you face with a situation. So exactly, face is like have a difficulty, but um. As Diana said, confront it, right? Um, look at it straight and try to solve it. So uh, that is the one we have face or face with. 
The next one we have is overcome. Guys, can you give me an example with overcome? Have you overcome anything, any difficulty? What is overcome in Spanish? Sobrellevar. Mm, sobrellevar, okay. Solventar, probably. Resolver, right? So when you have a difficulty and you overcome it, ya lo solucionó, you already solved it. Um, have you ever overcome any situation? Like kind of hard for you? I think a good example is whenever we get COVID, right? So after we get COVID for a couple of days and we take uh, some medicine and we take and we rest a lot. So we finally overcome uh, the illness or the disease or the virus or whatever you wanna call it. So overcome is that, right? To get better, to, um, to solve the problem where you are. The next word we have is self-discipline. Uh, guys, are you a self-disciplined uh, person? I try. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but are you succeeding? No. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I see that one. Trying. I try to lose weight. Trying. No? I think. You're I trying. Uh huh. Teacher, I consider uh, self-discipline is uh, uh the, the one of the most important things uh, mm -hmm. that people uh, can can do yeah you know, one of the characteristics we need right <laughs> yes every day but, uh, but to... are you <laughs> ah, oh, are you self I, I try <laughs> okay. i try i am honest i try I have to be honest, guys. I'm failing. I think, I think when you when you uh, complete or mm -hmm. when you accomplish, uh, accomplish mm -hmm. uh, this part self discipline. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Uh, it will be for me. Uh, it will be. Uh, you will be successful. Successful, yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I total, totally admire people who say, I'm going to wake up early and I'm going to go running, for example, because I have tried so many years to wake up early <laughs> and I never achieve it. Uh, so, and when my alarm goes off at 5 a.m., I'm like, ah, five more minutes, you know, and mm -hmm. I end up waking up super late. So yeah. I think... I am self-disciplined when it comes to work, when it comes to studies, but not with personal things, you know, not like, oh, I want to lose weight. Oh, I want to, uh, I don't know, I want to be healthier. So not things like those. <laughs> Guys, are you a self-disciplined person? So yesterday, I think Tatiana said, um, I lost 10 pounds in a month because I started doing exercise and eating healthier. I was like, girl, come on. <laughs> so give us some tips, you know, or the, I think um, Jorge, right, is the, the runner. I don't know if Jorge is here. So I think that Jorge mentioned last time that he tries to do exercise and everything. So I'm like, damn, boy, so I cannot achieve it. So guys, um, are you succeeding in this part of self-discipline or are you struggling? I'm struggling with that every single day. <laughs> Claudia, what is your experience on self-discipline? Um, teacher, I can, um, I can do it, but for one, two weeks, then I can, I fail. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. what is the, what is the, at example, struggle? because I, I, I want to uh -huh. do exercise, uh -huh. but I always be motivated, but then two weeks later, I say, oh my God, I can't do this. Too much so, effort. <laughs> yes, it's too much for me. Okay, okay. And eating is so delicious, but yes. <laughs> okay, so two weeks. Uh, the most uh, you can last or the most you can complete an activity is for two weeks. Yes, the most, um, the major time that I, I do exercise was in the pandemic. 
Ah, I okay. do exercise like uh, for a month, but then, wow. oh my God, I feel <laughs> again. But you did exercise at home? Yes, at home. Oh, no, but that is amazing because yes. quarantine, okay, was kind of hard for everybody, talking about mental health and everything. So, wow, that was nice. That was really nice. Okay, one month. So you can do it. <laughs> I will try. Well, I, actually, we are finishing classes next uh, week. And then I believe that we are going to have like a sort of vacation period, right? So you're going to have a month to do exercise. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I, 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 I think that I can, I can go to the gym. Mm, okay. And I'll see you one uh, week later, <laughs> like, oh, no, that's too much. <laughs> yes. No, guys, but that is important. Uh -huh. Okay. Guys, what about the rest? So do you have self-discipline? I think one of the biggest examples is being here, guys, being in class, committing yourself to being here because I know the schedule is really tough. Everybody works during the day, all day long. And then at eight, it's like, wow, I'm super happy when I see everybody coming in. I'm like, wow, that is discipline. Because some people would go to English classes one month and they would be like, ah, oh, you know, class one hour, two hours, too late. I want to watch YouTube. <laughs> so I think this is a really good example of self-discipline and congrats guys, you are succeeding in this part. So yeah, that is really, really good. So that is exactly the, the one of the most um, important things as Mr. Palma mentioned, right? To have self-discipline in some areas. Then we have ambitious and we have deadline. Guys, what is deadline? Do you normally have de deadlines at work? Do you have any deadline for this week? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you for need tomorrow. to send some reports for tomorrow? Yes, teacher. I every Monday I have to finish yeah. my reports, my ah, weekly okay. report. So, ah, all right. So you gotta submit them on Monday. Okay. Yes. Okay. Well, actually, we have a deadline for the platform too. <laughs> that is this coming Friday, right? <laughs> So guys, if you haven't worked on it, I strongly, highly, extremely, <laughs> no, I highly advise you to start working on the platform because it is kind, quite, you know, long, uh, the exercises we have there. Okay. Okay, guys. So um, yesterday we checked the word accomplish, and I think that those are some of the most useful words, accomplish, uh, achieve. Um, guys, really quick, Simberic uh, Cuaderno, without looking at your notebook, can you give me an example with achievement or achievement? Without checking your dictionary too? <laughs> Can you think of a sentence? Can you think of an example using achieve or achievement? Um, maybe the achieve that a young athlete um, have. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, that sounds really, really nice. So um, if you remember uh, the word achieve and achievement, they have the same meaning, but we use them in the different ways. Achieve will always be a verb, right? And achievement, mm -hmm. this is the noun. So the meaning is the same, but the way we use it is going to be a little bit different. For example, if I want to say, uh, if I want to talk about me, so I, I'm not going to use achievement, right? I'm going to use subject verb. So that would be, I achieved. So probably I achieved um, my goal participating. Imagine that I'm an athlete, as Ariel said. Mm -hmm. So I achieved uh, my goal participating in the World Cup, or I achieved uh, my dream to become the first Salvadorian representing El Salvador in a competition. So that would be achieve, right? What about achievement? Any idea how we can use achievement? Mm, maybe it's like similar. Mm -hmm. I read uh, that, yes. mm -hmm. that both are substantive. So you could use it like the achievement or the mm -hmm. achievement. Um, actually, yeah, the meaning is exactly the same, but the difference is going to be the way I use it. Uh, mm -hmm. For example, when we have achievement, um, I can include the achievement, and that mm -hmm. is okay. 
I cannot do the same with a chip, right? Uh, for example, the biggest, so the biggest achievement El Salvador has had in terms of sports, uh, I don't know why I'm thinking about Qatar. <laughs> okay, so what is the biggest achievement of El Salvador, guys? Has El Salvador ever participated in a World Cup? No. Never. I'm not sure. A long time ago. <laughs> Maybe another type of sports like atletismo or okay. swimming. Okay. Uh, well, La selecta de playa, sí. Ah, yes, yes. So the beach soccer team, that's right. Oh, guys, but I, I am not a big fan of soccer, but I just remember this score, uh, El Salvador won, and I think that was Hungary. So Hungary 10, was that in a World Cup? Girls, yeah. boys, like the ones who are fun of the soccer team. No idea. <laughs> I think nobody. Okay. But that is the idea. <laughs> okay. So normally uh, what, the difference is going to be the way we use it. Um, so we have, for example, I achieve subject and then verb. Achieve is a verb. But then achievement, I can use it as a noun. That means that I cannot say, it is not possible to say I achievement, right? Um, definitely not. And it is not possible to include uh, the to the word achieve because uh, they are not the same, right? This is not possible either. So just FYI, we are going to work on word formation later because uh, it is important too. So, uh, teacher, I Google yes. what you said, but no, <laughs> Hungria won ten. And El Salvador only won. One, right? Yeah, but that was in the World Cup, right? Yes. Ah, okay. Yes, with Magico Gonzalez, I believe, in Hueso. In Alberto Hueso. <laughs> well, I, I, I am not a big fan, but I, I think I remember that one. But yeah, okay. the, the Salvador went to the Cup. Uh, yes, two times. Ah, oh, two times. Okay. Yes. Like 50 years ago. <laughs> yes. Okay, like a long time ago, not anymore. <laughs> the 70s and the 80s. Oh, in the 70s, so 70, 30, 40 years. No, 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 50 years ago. Okay, 50 years ago. Wow, unbelievable. Hopefully, it gets better in the future. Okay, so those are part of the words we have. Uh, we are going to use them today, obviously, but I just wanted to bring that part. Um, we are going to work a little with listening, guys, and then we'll go for a speaking. I want you to take a look at these words. Here we have some more vocabulary. And I know that a lot of these words are super, super common for you. So this is going to be a piece of cake. We have the word smart, make excuses, humble, as celebrity. I'm sorry about this. It is as celebrity to work out, to grasp, sneakers, and to lace up. Um, so if you don't know the meaning, don't worry, we can guess. So don't use your dictionary. Let's try to just guess um, these words. For example, number one, smart. What do you think is the definition of smart? It's really easy. To understand something, especially something difficult. Or intelligent, or able to think quickly evenly in difficult situations. Okay, exactly, there we go. So letter H, intelligent, right? Or able to think quickly or understand. Okay, very nice. Number two, make excuses. What is make excuses? To give false reasons why you cannot do something. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Next one, a celebrity. Uh, the, the next number, one, humble. The number three, teacher. Oh, I'm humble. so sorry. I mean, I skipped uh, three. Mm -hmm. Okay, so humble. If you don't know the meaning of humble, don't worry, don't worry. Let's <laughs> skip to number four. Don't use your dictionary. The idea is just to get the, the whole idea uh, without dictionary. So let's go with number four, a celebrity. Uh, 
Later we come back Someone to Hamburg. who is famous, especially in the entertainment Someone. business. Okay, very nice. Someone who is famous. Number five, to work out. To exercise in order to improve the strength or appearance of your body. Very nice, exactly. To exercise. To grass. I don't know, teacher, letter A. Not proud or not believing that you are important. Mm -mm. No, no. there is another. Mm -hmm. There is another. Okay, don't worry, don't worry, guys. If you don't have it, no worries. Let's go with the sneakers. Let's go with the ones we know. The fashion shoes, boots, or piece of clothing. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, I think it's a type of light, comfortable shoe that is suitable for playing sports. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So that those are sneakers, the type of shoes. Uh, to lace up then? I think Norma said it. To lace up? To fasten shoes. Mm -hmm. Boots. To fasten, exactly. So to lace up is to fasten or to tie your shoes, boots, uh -huh. or a piece of, wait, I don't see, a piece of clothing by tying the laces. So in Spanish, you say like amarrar, right? Oh. So to lace up or to fasten, those are the, the, more common, the most common words. Uh, for example, if we are in the car and you have the seatbelt, we use the word fasten, ah, fasten your seatbelt, right? Como amárreselo, póngaselo. If you are in an airplane, uh, the airplane actually says mm -hmm. bacol or fasten. So that is like amarrarse, right? Uh, so to lace up or to fasten your shoes and your boots. We are missing two, number three, humble, and number six, grass. And we are missing letter A, no proud or no, not believing that you're important. And letter, um, letter oh. E, to understand something, especially something difficult. What is humble? Here, humble, I don't know. <laughs> humble is an adjective. Proud. It is a characteristic. Yes, of, of someone good, but. Yes. So, to understand something or not proud? Not proud. Not proud. So humble is a person who is not proud or not believing that you are important. Not necessarily not believing that you're important, but imagine that you get a 10 or maybe in a school, this was super common. You got a 10 in your exam and you were like, oh, I thought I was going to get a three. <laughs> so uh, you don't believe sometimes in your abilities, right? And you don't believe you are superior than anybody. So that is humble. Are you a humble person? Sometimes. <laughs> it depends. <laughs> okay. So humble is pretty much you don't believe yourself superior. That's the idea. Um, and so we are missing grass. To understand something, especially something difficult. Exactly. So we can just grasp is a synonym of understand, right? Oh, I got it. Oh, that means I grasped the idea, right? So grasp, understand, or get something. Uh, why am I showing you this vocabulary? Because we have a listening exercise and we are going to listen to a lot of this expression so we can get an idea before. Um, so I got just one more. Wait, wait a second. Wait. What is wrong with you, computer? Give me one sec. Okay, there we go. It says fill in the blanks with the words smart, make excuses, humble, a celebrity, to work out, to grasp, sneakers, and to lace up. Um, so here we have a couple of sentences and we are going to try to make use of the vocabulary. I'll give you five minutes, guys. Try to complete the sentences with the words that are on top. So five minutes, I think, will be enough.
Let me know, guys, when you finish. Done, teacher. Ah, okay, okay. Is everybody done? Yes, teacher. Oh, okay, wow, nice. That's really good. Okay. So let's take a look at number one. Uh, I'm sorry, the first one, it says, I'm not enough to understand computers. Oh, uh, what do you have in the first? A smart. Okay, which is weird. So I'm not smart enough to understand computers. Okay, number two. I think I manage to... To grasp. Exactly, to grasp. That we say is to understand, right? So to grasp. Number the one that says number two, what is the next? Uh, ah, is a person who is famous for being famous a celebrity. as a celebrity, exactly. Number three, she was wearing a pair of white shorts yeah. and a t shirt. Mm -hmm. Sneakers. Sneakers, okay. Number four, she can her shoes and she's only five. Lace up, lace up, lace up, exactly. We eliminated two mm -hmm. so she can lace up her shoes. Number five, Tom in the gym two or three times a week. Works out. Mm -hmm. So Tom works out in the gym. Number six, he is very about his success. Humble. Humble. Humble about his success. Very nice. And the last one, you're always for not helping me. Make excuses. Yes. <laughs> you're making. All, okay, making, exactly. So you're always making excuses. Last week you said you had a headache and yesterday you had just said you had to work. I don't believe you. <laughs> so definitely those are really good examples of excuses, right? Now I have got guys for you a little video that it is called What is Hard Work? Um, guys, what is hard work for you? Do you consider that you work hard? Sometimes. <laughs> and the other times? <laughs> Is it just working chilling? Hard, working <laughs> out without... It, de it depends. For me, it depends. <laughs> okay, it depends. You have to you rest, you do <laughs> Okay. It depends for the charge of, of work. It depends on the type of work. Yes, because uh, in my in my in my work, uh, sometimes uh, the work is a uh, very very hard. Mm -hmm. But in other time, uh, the work is a uh, it's a little. Mm, okay, so you can chill a little bit. Yes. <laughs> okay okay so let's take a look at this video <laughs> i already shared the link uh, so you can watch it on your own right so it is called what is hard work the vocabulary is related to everything we just checked and i have some questions for you so we can discuss at the end of the video i'll give you a couple of minutes so you can watch it just let me make sure to get the questions ready for you. Hold on. Okay, got some questions. So let me show you the questions right there as well. And you can listen to the video and try to um, answer the questions at the same time. So. Uh, guys, quick question. Pueden ver el video? Can you watch it? Is it playing? This video is not available. It's not available, teacher. It's not available. Oh, weird. I checked it today. So wait. <laughs> Give me one moment.
Sorry, give me one sec. Gracias a don Alejandro Chicas, a niña Ana, a María Ángel, que nos ayudaron en la colecta del día de ahora. Mañana pasará don Antonio con los que quedaron pendientes. Si alguien le puede ayudar, se lo vamos a agradecer. Feliz noche. Ok. I think somebody left the microphone on. I mean, and, and it's not bothersome, <laughs> but just in case. Okay, okay, guys, I got the, the I got the video for you. Um, oh my god, wait, I was about to make a mistake. Okay, um, so. Hi, George. Okay, 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 no worries. Okay, give it a try over here, please. Mm. This person has a really strong accent. Um, and they have this um, African-American intonation. So hopefully we can get the most of it, right? Um, and it is called hard work. So it's five minutes. So I'm going to give you a couple of minutes so you can watch it. Remember, um, it is not uh, necessary to watch it in the normal speed. You can always lower the speed. Um, but I would recommend you not to play subtitles because the idea is to get the most you can without subtitles, right? without cheating. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll give you some minutes. Watch it. I'm going to turn off my mic um, so you can listen uh, peacefully.
done teacher um guys quick question is it being difficult to understand um this person's speech A just some bit. words okay yeah, i think that even you too can understand <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. There are a I couple of they are cutting a lot of expressions. Hello. I yeah. know that player. You know the player. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now guys, I got the second part, but this is easier. <laughs> so uh because yeah, you're totally right. The, the way they speak. It's kind of hard. So this video is like two minutes, so it's not gonna take long. Uh, guys, watch the second, please. And I have some questions for you based on the second video you'll watch. Um, so I hope you got a couple of ideas from the first, but the second is easier. I promise you that. <laughs> okay, uh, so the questions are these ones, guys. It says, watch the video and fill in the gaps. Uh, in the second video, you listen to this. If you want to make it in this game, you need to do three things. You need to work. And he explains, you know, every part of it. The second part says, what does working hard involve? What choices do players have each time they enter the gym? Uh, complete Kevin Garner's favorite cut. Work hard. And then you have the rest of it. So this is a two minute video, all right? Watch it guys and try to complete, try to answer the questions that are on the screen, right? So I'll give you uh, five more minutes.
are you doing guys um are you almost ready did you get it do no, you need more time i'm ready okay 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 Uh, guys, what about the rest? Do you need more time? Okay, guys, let's um let's discuss then the answers that we have in the first questions. Number one says if you want if you want to make it in this game, you need to do three things. You need to work. Guys, what are the three hard. things that they said in the video? You need to work hard, hard, uh, work smart, smart, and there is one and more. You need to work consistent. Exactly. So you need to work consistently, like in everything you do. Um, number two, what does working hard involve? Who has number two, guys? Uh, I, I think I had. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. What do you have? Um, I get that if you want to work hard, you need to get yourself to the point of this discomfort uh that means that you have to get out of the comfort zone mm -hmm. and you need to make it a habit mm -hmm. exactly so you need to work out of your comfort zone and they focus or they um stress that a lot right so you need to go be out of your your comfort zone out of your box and make it into a habit okay um number three guys anybody else got number three what choices do players have each time they enter the gym Uh, Juan Carlos, I don't know if you had the answers. No. No. Not yet. Work hard, teacher. Okay. Uh, number three. In the third. I, I think that that those are the choices teacher to work hard or not yes actually uh that is what it says right that it is pretty much up to you so when you go to the gym you choose or you you want to do exercise and you want to work out or just not <laughs> yeah exactly so it pretty much is your decision okay okay the last one guys number four says complete kevin gardner's favorite quote uh hard work it is almost at the end of the video guys it is in the last minutes of the video And they mentioned one of the words that was in the vocabulary we checked some seconds ago. Um, do you have it? Did you complete it? Were you able to complete the quote? Yes. Okay. What do you have, Diana? <laughs> uh, hard work beats talent when talent fails to work hard. Okay, okay, okay. One sec. Okay. So hard work beats talent when talent fails to work hard. Mm -hmm. Exactly. 
this is really interesting. So what do you think it's better, like to have talent, to work hard? Do you think that working hard beats talent or is the other way around? So we got just two more questions here um, and we are going to discuss them, obviously. Number one says, what is your definition of hard work? And number two, do you agree with Kevin Gardner in this quote? Like hard work beats talent uh, when talent fails to work hard. Do you agree with this? Have you ever met somebody who was so talented, but too lazy? Or people who were not talented, but super hardworking people and they succeeded? So what do you think about it? Guys, we are going to make some groups um, so we can discuss just the last two questions, right? Of course, the idea is to speak as, as much as we can. So give me a second here. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is still bad. Okay. Um, so, so, okay. I'm going to just invite you to join the groups. Give me a moment, guys. Susana, are you with us? Uh, Mr. Villeda, are you participating with us? Yes, are you too. working? Okay, okay, cool. Yes, okay, I don't know if, uh, I think Tatiana is not back yet. Okay, guys, so I'm going to ask you to go to the groups. Uh, sorry, I got allergies. <laughs> I feel like um, I got the virus, you know, <laughs> from far away. Okay, guys. Um, so, Claudia, Diana, Jorge, Susana, Wendy, stay here, guys. And um, Ariela, let's join Cristia. She's in the group okay. already. Mr. Rivas, let's go there. Uh, Mr. Palma, let's join. Olga, Norma, guys, the rest of us, please join the group so we can discuss the last equations. Um, let me, les voy a presentar la pantalla en los grupos para que no tengan que tomar la captura or anything. So, there we go. Okay, guys, so tenemos cinco minutos. We got five minutes to give our opinion, right? So, what do you think about the last two? Solamente son... Um, here, the last two. What is your definition of hard work? And do you agree with Kevin Gardner in the in number four? That is, um, well, in everything, right? That you need to work consistently, that you need to work hard and everything he said. I'm going to turn off my mic. So the classroom is yours. So you can express your ideas, right? Guys, vamos a los grupos, please. Si ya vieron la invitación por ahí, and let's join the groups. Otherwise, let's start practicing and talking and giving opinions. Hello, good evening. Good evening, George. Jorge. Hello, what is the exercise? Uh, we need to discuss uh, these two questions from the video we saw. 
but I don't know if you have the time to, to see it. Yes, I, I can see the, the video. Okay. Uh, the first one or the second one? Uh, the two. Well, okay. What is your definition of hard work? In my opinion is, is wake up from the air from early and do the best effort until the night coming. But uh, I consider is is do the best that you can do. What about you? If for me is uh, is a a flight of propose uh, to obtain a good result. Okay. Sounds good. What about you, Diana? Um, for me, it is to keep trying to achieve uh, your goals without give up, giving up. It's not just uh, a fish's and work. Could be a, a mental work or a psychological work. Yes. Yes, I think if, if you want to work hard, you need to do both. Uh, to do physical effort and also mental effort, even emotional. So that means be focused on that goal and that goal to reach and, and complete the, that your objective, your objective. Yes, exactly. Yes. Uh, and, well, I think that it's, that's why it is called hard work because it isn't easy. Mm -hmm. uh, because when you mentioned to wake up early, I said, ah, no, I don't like to do that. <laughs> yes, I, I remember in, the, in that video, Kevin Garnett said that you can stay in your bed and sleep or go, go out and work and work hard or Yes. To do something that that, that give you money. <laughs> yes, that's the idea. Uh, it it's your choice. I, in fact, it, it is. Yes, you, exactly. can, you decide what do you that what do you, do you want? Yes. Claudia, what do you think? I think you're here. What are we talking about? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what is your definition of hard work? Hard work. It, um, hard work for me is uh, uh, effort. Effort, Yes. Uh, ever, every day, um, give the best of you every day. Put your heart in the things you do and love what you do and don't give up. Never give up. For me, it's hard work. And the second, I don't listen to the video. I'm sorry. Oh, don't worry. I, 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 the, I, saw, I saw the video, but what is the. Yes, the quote is hard work beats talent when talent fails to work hard? Yes, uh, in my case, I consider is, I agree with, with that, uh, with that think, <laughs> with uh, Kevin Carnett said, because you need to, to do something to, to improve your talent or to keep your talent being, <laughs> being, being, being active. 
I don't know. Yes, uh, I agree too. Um, right. Because let me see. Because I think that a person can be really talented, but sometimes, like the teacher said, if you are lazy or you over overestimate your talent, you don't work hard. So you can miss <laughs> the opportunity you have because you don't you don't work hard on on success on something. But I think that if you had a goal and you want to work to achieve it, um, even if you don't have the talent, you can. No sé cómo se dice desarrollar. <laughs> develop. Yes, that you can develop the talent. Uh, okay. You consider that is related to uh, emotional intelligence? Yes, I think that is, well, emotional intelligence, it's always need, <laughs> needed. Because if you can manage your emotions, the things will going to be more hard um, because you you won't be able to control frustration or the stress that all the work hard uh, tries. <laughs> yes, I remember that phrase that Kevin Garnett said in, in their video that was something like uh, let me see like uh, be comfortable in your tone incomfortable something like that yes yes I, I think that that means that when you work hard you you be able to be comfortable in your out of your son out of your comfortable son yes and i think that when you are working for something not always is going to look or to be good or pretty or like claudia said not always you're going to love what you're doing but i think that when you reach the goal for what you're working then you can enjoy all all the things yes yes that, that's that's true i consider the the way can be so hard but if you don't give up, you 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 can be reach the the goal that you you are expecting or waiting. Yes. All right, guys. So I, I think it sounds amazing. I'm sorry to stop you uh, right there. I guess everybody's coming. <laughs> okay. Um, and and it is just amazing to listen to your opinions on that. Um. And uh, I see that what Lupe says in the chat that make your best effort always at all times and need to try and continue to try. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a really good point, right? That you don't have to give up. So you need to keep on trying, right? Until uh, that works. Or as uh, Jorge said, until you reach your goals, which is the most important thing by the end of the day. Okay, guys. Um, nice. Really, really cool. We got to work um, on something else uh, that is related a little bit to uh, a structure, right? And when to change words or when to use uh, a gerund. So if you take a look in your material, um, we are having here like some examples in management and motivation. And uh, in the previous, um, Classes will have this little conversation that is about uh, motivation. Give me one sec. 
I'm unable to play it. What's going on? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, there we go. So uh, in the previous class, we had this little conversation, right? That uh, said, expressions like um, creating a workplace where the employees free to make suggestions, motivating employees is difficult if they believe they will make a mistake and wearing a uniform is not required in our company. Sometimes uh, when we are talking about activities, we tend to use ING. So ING has a couple of uses and we are going to check uh, to use a student. One of them says how to use gerunds as subjects. Um, remember that when we are talking about activities, it is not possible to just say, for example, communicate, but we need to say either co to communicate or communicating. So we have this one right here, the example on top uh, that says communicating with employees is necessary to know their needs. Recognizing progress is an important factor in motivating others. Encouraging subordinates to be successful is essential for the growth of the company. It is very common that when we are using ING or gerund at the beginning of a sentence, we are going to be using the verb to be is, is, and is because we're talking about an activity. So a gerund function in the same way as a noun and as such, they can be used in place of as the subject of a sentence. So take a look at a couple of examples we have regarding motivation, right? Regarding motivation at work and how they have been, uh, or how we can change, modify the verbs to make them work. Uh, for example, here it says, complete the sentences with gerunds, then compare answers. And it says, discuss if you agree or disagree with the motivational factor that sentences describes. Number one says getting vacation, uh, pay vacation is a great motivational factor for employees to work hard. We are talking about working hard. Number two, guys, um, provide. How can we modify provide as the subject provide. of the sentence? Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. So the only thing that we normally do here is we have provide, right? So we just need to add ing, and that's it. So we don't complicate much our lives. And this is the subject, providing praise to employees when they have accomplished a task successfully reinforces their good performance. Guys, number three, facilitate. How can we change it to make it a, a subject? Facilitating. Facilitating. Facilitating, exactly. Facilitating the essential tools employees need to perform their duties is crucial to keep them satisfied with their job. Number four, establish. Establishing? Mm -hmm, that's it. Establishing clear communication channels is essential for employees to express suggestions and timely information. Number five, guys, respect. Respecting. Respecting the opinions of others is important to keep communication open. And number six, promote. Promoting. Promoting. Mm -hmm. Promoting healthy relationships with your teammates is an important factor to get motivation up. So this is one of the uses of gerund. It is super easy. This is not a verb anymore, but it is an activity. Getting paid vacation, providing praise, facilitating the essential tools, establishing clear communication. So whenever you have this idea in Spanish that goes like art, uh, for example, dar reconocimiento, que sería providing praise, dar reconocimiento mejora. Oh, that is an activity, that is an, mm, it is an activity. So we can use gerund. Y podemos hablar perfectamente de esa actividad, right? But guys, it is necessary to add ING, como lo acaban de hacer. Getting, providing, facilitating, establishing, respecting, and promoting. Este es el uso número uno. This is use number one. But, but tell me. 
uh, when we can use Jeron in, in what case or? Jerons have three uses. Um, sometimes you use it with continuous tenses and that is not considered a gerund anymore. Uh, but you say, for example, I am working, I'm studying. Okay, that is just number one of the ING form. This is just number two, right? Wow. Whenever we have ING as the subject of your sentence. Y tenemos un tercer uso. We have a third use, um, but we are going to work on it a little bit. So, um, Pretty much, guys, ¿cuándo vamos a utilizar esto al inicio? When are we going to use ING? Cuando queramos hablar de actividades. Whenever you want to talk about activities que terminan en Spanish como um, ar, er, ir, we are going to use ING para hacerlas muy formales, right? Uh, for example, if I want to say, eh, dar vacaciones anuales es una obligación de las empresas, how can I say dar vacaciones anuales? Giving vacation. Yeah, giving yearly vacation. It's a, a company's a duties or obligations. So that is use number one. It's being fácil, really, really easy. Yes, ING. But guys, no todo es fácil. <laughs> no, it's kidding. Uh, gerunds tienen un segundo uso. Gerunds have a second use. Um, the second use of gerunds, or the third use in this case, is Sometimes, los usamos después de otros verbos. For example, give the correct gerund form of these verbs. Um, gerunds también pueden ser utilizados después de otros verbos para indicar two activities. If you remember, no es posible utilizar dos verbos juntos. We can never use two verbs together. For example, yo no puedo decir I am work, porque es incorrecto. Yo no puedo decir I am agree, porque no se puede. So, ¿qué es lo que hacemos? Modificamos, cambiamos, transformamos el segundo verbo. Algunos verbos son bien flexibles y pueden utilizar to. Eh, algunos incluso permiten solo el muy verbo eh, desnudito, sin ningún cambio, pero otros no. It's necessary that eh, agregamos ing. ¿Por qué le, le llamamos gerund? Porque son, no son verbos se convierten en nouns. Pero un gerund, pretty much, guys, no vamos a complicarlo mucho, es solamente un ing. If you take a look, all these uh, sentences from one to ten, todos me piden, me exigen un gerundio después de esos, uh, en esos espacios, in those spaces. I have the bird like, bird, enjoy, dreams of, interested in, good at, crazy about, help, imagine, and give up. So cuando tengo estas, ya vamos a ver por qué. Ellas me exigen el ING. So look at number one. Um, it says she likes. Y quiero decir que a ella le gusta pintar. So easy. ¿Cómo voy a completar? How can I complete this sentence, guys? She likes. Painting. Yes, eso es todo. She likes uh, painting. Solo lo que hacemos es agregarle ing con las reglas que ustedes perfectamente saben. What about number two? I can bear. Y es lo mismo. I have listened. Listening. So, listening. Uh -huh. I can bear. Listening to music. Ah, look at this. Likes. Bear. So bear me pide obligatoriamente que utilice listening. Ya vamos a completar y crear más ejemplos, right? Porque Jaron son de los más confusos and se nos olvida sometimes que debo de agregarlo. That I need to add it para sonar mucho más, um, para que mi idea tenga orden, right? So we have, he enjoys, for example. Again, me pide ING. So I have play. Okay, playing. He enjoys playing tennis. Guys, I'll give you th three minutes. Está super fácil para que completemos los demás. So you can complete the rest. Uh, en la número 9, en number 9, dice, I can't imagine, pero si se fijan, también está el verbo to be. No vamos a cambiarlo. Lo único que vamos a agregar, hacer siempre es agregarle ing. Eso es todo. So, I'll give you three minutes, guys. Three, four minutes. Intentamos completarlos con el ing, and then we'll check it out.
Let me know when you finish, guys. One more minute, guys. One more.
Alrighty guys, so let's take a look at the answers we have right there. So number one, she likes painting. Number two, I can't bear listening to loud music. So I can't bear, so like, I can't stand. I really hate it, I don't like it. Number three says he enjoys playing tennis. Number four, Leila dreams of? Fairy. Fairy. Mm -hmm. Setting up her own business, setting like up. setting up or set up is a start, right? So she thinks about setting up her business. Number five, he's interested in? Emigrating. Emigrating to Canada. Emigrating, emigrating. Perfect, that is okay. Number six, are you good at? Dancing. 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 Guys, are you good at dancing? Is anybody good at dancing? Yes. No teacher. No? Singing? No. Are you good at singing? Yes. We have to write food. You have to write food. Okay. So you have yes. to write food there. Wendy, are you good at singing? <laughs> no? In the church only. Ah, in the church. Okay. Are you good at math? Are you good at solving math exercises? Mm. No? No. No. Okay. <laughs> Guys, what are mm -hmm. you good at? <laughs> okay, number seven. No, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure you have more abilities. Number seven, she is crazy about reading. Reading. Mm -hmm. Reading romantic poems. Exactly. Number eight, I can't help. Probably you have heard the song, I can't help uh, falling in love with you. So I Lovely. can help. Laughing. Laughing. laughing, exactly. So laugh, laughing. Laughing Lovely. when I watch laughing. Mr. B. Laughing. So laughing is like, ha, 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 right? So laughing. Mm -hmm. Number nine, I can't imagine. Being. Being, being. exactly. I can't imagine being anywhere being. else but here. And number 10, you should give up. Smoking. 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 Exactly. So you should give up the smoking. So let's take a look at some of these expressions that are super common. Um, so we have I can't, I can't ever, I can help. So uh, in this scenario, I can help is different, right? It's like no puedo evitarlo, I can avoid it. Um, so we have, I am good, I am good at, right? I am interested in, and I am, let me see, and I want to give up. Okay. Okay, guys, so um, in English, um, actually, we call them gerunds, pero si se fijan, los gerundios, the gerunds, no están acá. Because este verbo, this verb, es el que me pide que después yo utilice un gerund. So I have, I can't bear, yo no puedo soportar. I can help, yo no puedo evitar. I am good at, soy bueno en esto. I'm interested in, estoy interesado en algo. I want to give up. Pero es como quiero dejar de hacer esto. I want to give up. And then we normally say what. So el detalle es el siguiente, guys. Gerunds vienen después. Uh, for example, I say, I can't bear. Yo no puedo soportar. Guys, ¿qué es algo que no soporten? What is something that you can't stand? I can't bear. ¿Hay algo que no soporten? Mm -hmm. I, I go. Okay. I go first. I can stand listening to Romeo Santos music. So mm -hmm. for me, that's a, that's a, you know, I don't know, guys. I can't simply stand it. I don't like the music. So if you take a look, cualquier actividad que vayamos a agregar has to start with ing. Does Bert but, me pide yeah. ing? It requests for ing. The music or him or or. Uh, uh his group uh, i mean him the group and the genre <laughs> really? i don't like bachata um, i think that bachata is um nonsense you know 
It doesn't really make sense as a kind of music. And Romeo Santos' voice, I think it is so fake. Um, Have you heard so, uh, Juan Luis Guerra? I don't like Juan Luis Guerra. I'm really? sorry. I don't like the genre. I don't like oh. salsa. I don't know why. I don't like salsa. Because I oh. think that salsa has a lot of um, explicit sex in there. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Uh -huh. so, and, and I can't bear, you know, listen to Romeo Santos. So, um, what kind of music do you like? Oh, anything except salsa and bachata. <laughs> so, so, you like perreo? Yeah, I mean, okay. I like a couple. I love rancheras. I love Spanish music, Latin music. It doesn't matter? With the music. It doesn't matter? With the lyrics, the explicit lyrics of, of some of some songs? Some songs are really catchy, especially. I don't like Bad Bunny much. I'm not oh. a fan. But some songs are really catchy. So mm. even if I don't want to, I memorize the songs. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. the problem with, uh, with that. Uh, with reggaeton and that kind of yeah. music. With that genre. Uh-huh. <laughs> The next one, guys, we have right here. I can help, right? Like, no puedo evitar. That is the idea of I can help. In the previous example, you saw something that says, I can help laughing when I watch Mr. Bean. So that is something que no se puede evitar. Guys, what is something that you can help? Es algo que no puede evitar. Evitar, sorry. So I can say, for example, I can help feeling sad uh, talking about music, when I listen, when I listen to Los Temerarios. Guys, are you into this kind of music? Whenever I listen to Los Temerarios, it doesn't matter how I feel. I feel immediately depressed, you know, and you start like, Como te recuerdo? oh my God. <laughs> so you feel sad. You can't help feeling sad, right? You cannot avoid it. Uh, so that's something that is really hard to avoid. Um, we got, for example, I'm good at, and I want to say, ah, oh, soy muy buena bailando. So, and I have dance, but I can no puedo hacer solo dance. So I'm good at, Dancing, soy buena bailando. I want to say, for example, I soy buena resolviendo ejercicios, rompecabezas. I am good at solve eh, puzzles. But again, no puedo decir sol. Le debo agregar ing, right? So we are going to include ing always después de estos prompts. Guys, eh, can you make an, a couple of examples, please, following the prompts? I can't bear, I can't help. I am good at, uh, I am interested in, I want to give up. Again, I want to give up, de, quiero dejar de hacer algo. For example, quiero dejar de, um, de poner todas las actividades para el último minuto. I want to give up procrastinating. O quiero dejar de comer tanto pan. <laughs> I want to give up eating a lot of bread and no, pastry. It, no, it, no, it's impossible. Uh, no, it is, it's hard. But yeah. not impossible. <laughs> yeah. No, for sir. me, it's good. Good, the brain. <laughs> really? No effect, okay. no effect in, my, in my body. Now, but when do you have a privileged body, you know, and a privileged <laughs> metabolism? So. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, guys, I'll give you like two minutes so you can give us some examples and then. You can share your examples with us. Sure. 
Hello. Here I I write um a message is that oh yes i saw it just um, now Morfeo, oh it's winning the battle because okay. i'm dying so morfeo is calling you morfeo ya me ganó la batalla un sueño. oh okay no worries miss le agradezco por estar acá y espero que mejore i hope you feel better thank no you no worries miss it's live well it's live super super thank well you, thank, thank you thank you so have a good one Okay, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, Bye. Yeah, please. <laughs> More food <is> winning. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Already, guys, do you have a, examples with um, I can bear, I can help? Give us a couple, please. Give us some examples. Either way, we will continue working with this tomorrow um, in case you got questions, in case this is not 100% uh, clear, right? We, we will continue working with this. Um, so far, were you able to make a couple of examples? <clears throat> No yet. Um. Okay, guys. Let's do the following because, uh, probably as Ariela said, ya Morfeo nos está ganando la batalla tú. <laughs> okay. Um. So vamos a seguir trabajando con esto. We'll continue working with this tomorrow, guys. Uh, tenemos acá solamente cinco prompts. I want to give up, eh, pero agreguemos el que, right? Because uh, give up es solamente la primera parte. No es como me quiero dar por vencido. No, sino quiero dejar de hacer algo. Uh, like, quiero dejar, si fuman, guys, I want to give up smoking. Eh, si toman, por ejemplo, I want to give up eh, drinking too much. Si parrandea, <laughs> I want to give up partying or clubbing. So podemos siempre agregarle el que, right? What? Or, quiero dejar de gastar tanto dinero. I want to give up spending all my savings in my card or in unnecessary things. So, um, completémoslo, escribamos un ejemplo, and uh, lo revisamos el día de mañana. We'll check it tomorrow already. So, that's going to be, guys, for tomorrow. Y solamente el, el recordatorio de la plataforma, please. Eh, no nos quedemos eh, atrás con la plataforma. Recordemos que terminamos el próximo lunes. Y si no, se nos va a acumular demasiado, guys. You'll be accumulating a lot. So, gracias a todos por acompañarnos. Gracias por el esfuerzo de estar todavía despiertos, guys. Thank you so much for that. And ya, ya Nelson, ahorita nos vamos. <laughs> Descansen, people. Have a really good night sleep. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye. 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 See, see you. Have a good night. Bye, guys. Bye, Nelson. Que descanse. Sleep well. No me puedo salir.
no se puede salir. Ahorita, ahorita, ahorita ya. That's, thank ah, you. Ah, vaya, vaya, vaya. No worries. Bye, Nelson. Que descanses. Sleep well. Bye, guys.